I'm standing here in front of I-30 near Davis Street, where a car was found lodged between the two pillars you see right behind me. The car is said to have belonged to UTA student Tajim Tadis, and his passenger was Mateo Reyes. Both UTA students were fraternity members of Pi Kappa Phi and also roommates. Both students were confirmed dead at the scene by Arlington police, and their accident is still under investigation. For UTA News, I'm Rose Melope. Less fortunate individuals will feel warm this winter with help from UTA Radio. The Beta Theta Pi fraternity are here at J. Gilligan's to raise funds for their fraternity. I'm standing here on Main Street at the site of the annual Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival here in downtown Fort Worth. UTA paid their last respects as flags flew at half-staff as fraternities and sororities closed off Greek Row for a moment of silence as they came to remember two of their own. Mourners came together and reflected on fond memories of Tejin Tadis and Mateo Reyes. The group made up of friends and family had a candlelit vigil as they paid their last respects to their friends. I'm standing here in front of I-30 near Davis Street, where a car was found lodged between the two pillars you see right behind me. The car is said to have belonged to UTA student Tajin Tadis and his passenger was Mateo Reyes. Both UTA students were fraternity members of Pi Kappa Phi and also roommates. Arlington police responded to a, a call about a, a wrecked vehicle on Interstate 30 right under the Davis Street Bridge. When officers arrived, they found an SUV that was flipped over upside down, trapped between two pillars of the bridge. Uh, essentially, um, it appears that uh, the two people who were in the vehicle had been uh, either traveling at a high rate of speed or drug and alcohol could have been involved. Those are two elements being investigated. Both students were confirmed dead at the scene by Arlington police, and their accident is still under investigation. For UTA News, I'm Rose Melope. What a day to start with the sweet sounds of creativity that filled the air in downtown Fort Worth over the weekend. I'm standing here on Main Street at the site of the annual Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival here in downtown Fort Worth. This annual arts festival was buzzing with all sorts of arts and crafts from various artists from all over the country for locals to see and food for all to enjoy. That also included UTA's Performing Arts sponsoring a concert stage. As well as the Mavericks community that welcomed all to their college town and with a booth at the festival which offered information that included activities on campus, attending and picking classes, and even graduating. Success, what UTA is all about. Um, well, we are the presenting sponsor here at Main Street for Earth, uh, Arts Festival, and we've been uh, involved in the festival in some form or fashion for the last five years. And so we're just out here giving information about our alumni association, our programs here at the Fort Worth Center, and then undergraduate programs that we have on the main campus and graduate programs, and just kind of promoting the university. A lot of people come in here different ages, we have both young and old, um, perspective students, people who who went to campus, um, those who either attended and then those who graduated, maybe they want to take a class back again or they just love our campus and want to know more. All of our program offerings here at the Fort Worth campus, it's a great way to not only recruit, um, yes, people are our Arlington campus, but a good exposure that you don't necessarily need to enroll in a program to take advantage of the Fort Worth Center. Right. That we're the only public four-year campus um, in Tarrant County. I mean, there are a lot of private offerings here, but this is truly a Tarrant County institution, and we want to be able to make sure that everybody knows that they can benefit from our campus. For UTN News, reporting from Fort Worth, I'm Rose Melope.